good evening or well, good day lovely to see you all great to get together like this today and pray this is one of our regular rhythms uh, as a church to pray together like this so it is fab to get to be together hope you're doing okay hope you've had a good day uh, or if you're watching this maybe Tuesday morning or at another time um, I pray that you will have a good day today wasn't it good those who made the frontline family hangout yesterday on Sunday I thought it was absolutely fantastic uh, you know we are isolated in this time but we just want to be connecting as much as possible so well done for joining in I thought Johnny and Beth did a great job um, I loved that Chris Kent was stumped uh, with one of the questions um, it was great fun we're going to be doing that again in a couple of weeks time so um, do have a look out for that we just want to be creating these moments to connect as well good evening Louise good evening Mike and Matt and Sheila it's lovely to see you all today so I don't know about you how your day's been um, if you've had a great day if you've uh, like me one of your children are isolating and you're like oh no how do we cope with this uh, again um, but I just wanted to start today and this time by pausing coming before the Lord of Lords coming before our Heavenly Father who loves us so much and uh, as we do just to breathe to center ourselves on the living God who lives with us who is right with us in our rooms in our houses wherever we're watching this uh, on our ways to work or ways home from work and he is with us and let's just center ourselves on the presence of God on the Father and the Holy Spirit we welcome you we welcome you into our hearts we welcome you into our minds we we are aware of your goodness right now why don't you just speak out whatever it is on your heart just whatever you need to just to center yourself on God and as you do I'm going to read out from Psalm 105 it says this give thanks to the Lord call on his name make known among the nations what he has done sing to him sing praise to him tell of all his wonderful acts glory in his holy name let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice look to the Lord and his strength seek his face always so let's just be thanking God let's let's whatever it is that we're thankful for today let's send ourselves on God and come to him with thanksgiving Lord we thank you for a new day we thank you that no matter the season you are present with us that you are a victorious king that you are a loving savior you're our father who absolutely welcomes us no matter what we said or done today you welcome us right now into your presence and your loving arms Lord, I'm so thankful for uh, the weather today I've got to go out on a little walk around the block with uh, Judah today uh, a couple of times um, and uh, just up and down the road in fact with a, a little torch on even this evening and I thank you for the joy of a five-year-old Lord I thank you that there are leaves around to look at and that we can look at creation and marvel at your work uh, Lord I thank you for um, our jobs that we've got Lord thank you for food that we get to eat Lord there's so much that we can come before you and be thankful for today and as I was reading that psalm earlier I wanted to share it with us because it's verse 4 look to the Lord and his strength I don't know about you but I am coming before him saying Lord give me strength more than I have done for, for years I don't know if I know a season where I've had to do it so much um, I know so many of us are resonating with that at the moment we just can't do it in our own strength and Lord we thank you that we can look to you for our strength we thank you that we can come before you and look to you for our strength and I wonder if you can just think what is it that you need strength for uh, right now you might want to put it in the comments you might just think about it and just say Lord what do I need strength for for today or for this week or for this season 
Uh, for me, it changes so much. It's grace at the moment. I need his strength and I need a bit of extra grace at the moment for others. Um, and so, Lord, we come before you honest and open. I thank you that you don't mind us being honest and open. I'm, someone said recently, and I've been trying to put into practice since, he, he said uh, that Jesus smiles when we hurl stuff at the cross. Jesus smiles when we throw things at the cross. And at first I thought, surely not. Smile. But he went on to say that actually he smiles, Jesus smiles, because it's when we throw stuff at the cross that we really know what the cross is all about. And I love that. So let's just be honest with God for a moment and say, Lord, this is where we're at. These are the emotions I'm feeling. And I'm not going to promise you that you'll leave this feeling a hundred times better. But this is the process we can go through with our loving God, that we can be honest with him, that he wants us to be honest and open with him. I think it's in that vulnerability that he gives us the strength and the grace we need. He's able. We're letting him in. So just be honest. If it's your work situation, relationship issues, if it's your health, if it's your um, economic uh, situation, if it's if it's just the burdens of the world right now that are just too weighty for you to do it on your own, then Father God says, come to me, all the, those who are weary. I will renew you. I will lift you on wings of eagles. I will renew your strength. Just be honest and open with him today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I can come and be honest. Lord, the grace I need uh, to juggle homeschooling with my work and Jen's work this week, I can come to you expecting that you're going to give me the strength. In fact, thank you in advance that you've already given me the strength and the grace I need for this week. I receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I did want to um, finish. Well, we've only got about three or four minutes. Time flies. It's wonderful. I did want to use this this prayer time to pray into uh, the vaccines. That great news we have seen today. I mean, it looks like fantastic news, and then you kind of keep reading and say, okay, well, it might be here in spring. Who knows? I wanted to pray, and I was thinking that 2020 surely, in my experience. The church hasn't prayed so much like this um, in any other season that I know of and uh, in my lifetime. I'm sure there's been other scenarios, but there has been so much prayer. So I want to start by saying, God, thank you for the hope that is in the vaccines from the US uh, more recently and other places in the last week or so. Lord, we thank you for your hand there. And we want to continue to pray that you would make a way for the vaccine to be effective, uh, your favour on those trials that need to take place. Uh, so why don't we just pray for these vaccines that they will come quickly, that they will be effective. Pray for the scientists for favour, for their minds to be sharp, for them to have words of knowledge and dreams about small bits of detail that they might not think about but that God could put in their minds. Lord, we lift up the scientists involved in making all these vaccines that we're reading about and hearing about. Lord, give them favour, give them health themselves, give them good sleep and make them effective at the job that you've gifted them with, which is being clever, which is being sciencey, which is um, being good at this sort of thing. Um, clearly not me with the language I'm using. And Lord, give them favour. But Lord, give favour to the manufacturers uh, on the whole process of the trials that will take place, the mass production that needs to take place. Would you bring favour on all of that, Lord? And in the same token, Lord, we pray and end the ceasing to the effectiveness of COVID-19. We, we pray a ceasing and an end to this coronavirus pandemic right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we say, would it be halted? Would it stop, Lord, across the world, not just in the UK, not just in Liverpool with the mass testing, Lord, but across the world, we continue to join with thousands and millions of Christians who are praying, Lord, would you stop this pandemic? In Jesus' name, we don't want just good news that the vaccine is coming. We want you to continue it to its fullness of ceasing this pandemic, Lord, of ridding us 
of all the restrictions that we've got. We want to be able to hug. We want to be able to see one another. We want to be able to worship together. Uh, as you've designed and created us too, in bigger settings, Lord, in homes and together in all sorts of ways. So we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Well, it's been great to pray together. I um, hope you have a great rest of your evening. I pray good sleep on all of us who are watching live or later this evening. A great sleep in Jesus' name. Those who are struggling with sleep right now, we pray a blessing over your household, over your room, over your mind as you switch off this evening. Would it be a restful evening and a restful sleep? And those watching later, pray a blessed day for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. See you all really soon. Been great to get to share that. See you soon.